This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Leo from May 10th to May 24th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? King of Swords. Two of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. Seems like someone that was blocked off from you has been doing some thinking. King of Swords energy. This is someone that, this is someone who is very convincing with their thoughts, has a way of explaining things, an intellectual. And things are about to start moving with this person. Let's clarify this blocked off energy, the two swords. Let's see what that's about. For them, power. For you, altruism. So this is someone that you were very selfless towards. And they were in the power position, and it kind of looks like they still are. But they're doing some thinking and Something is beginning to turn in your favor in this connection with this person. Before we get to the random generated questions, who is this person? Ah. Contradictions. I wasn't meant to pull that card yet, but we're going to keep it. Who is this person? Got the Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. And the Six of Swords. So this is someone who's coming up with an idea towards you. And I feel so far the energy has been going from you to them. Like you've been putting the effort into this connection. You've, you've wanted to move things along already, but it, it's like it was taking some time to, to manifest. Like, like something about this person's way of thinking needed to adapt to whatever you were offering them, but it's like they're aligning to, to whatever you were bringing forth in the past. So, they're starting to think, but we did have the contradictions on their side. What do we got for yours? For you, we got exchange. You have something to give to this person. You have something to exchange with them. It's something altruistic. And there's contradictions on this person's side. Like, it's almost like they don't want to see something, but they're beginning to see it. Like, they're, they're starting to have this outlook towards you. But it's, it's almost like a contradiction for them. There's something that this person is trying to run away from, if that makes sense. Like they see something they like, but they're holding back. Let's get to the random generated questions. Maybe they'll shed some light on this. What makes your love interest question the connection? These are all random questions, so sometimes the right questions pop up. So what makes them question it? We got the King Cups energy. 
the hangman, and the fool card. So they're seeing things from a whole new perspective. And their hearts being awoken here. Like the, the King of Cups energy is, is that person that influences with love. And we see them turning from the King of Swords to the King of Cups. But what makes them question is, is, is taking a leap of faith, is the uncertainty to it all. So it's like this person has a lot to think about. Let's clarify the King of Cups here. For them, we got teaching. For you, stagnation. This person could be doing something they love. They could be some sort of teacher in one facet or another. Like they could be an instructor of some sort. So I feel what they love is, is almost getting in the way of this, of taking this risk with you. Like something here scares this person. It's, it's creating this energy of stagnation between you. They're starting to, hangman energy is that different outlook. Like they're still tied to their past outlook, but they're starting to change, starting to move in this direction of, of taking a leap of faith. But they're still tied to their past. So it's like their heart and their mind is in conflict over this. Like, I'm getting the feeling that you're dealing with someone here that almost told themselves that they would never love again. Like, they don't, they're afraid to take that leap of faith. So their heart is moving in one direction and their mind is trying to pull them back in another. Will the love interest contact you in the next two weeks? This whole time I feel the same energy, so I think it's the same person, like, from the start. Will they contact you in the next two weeks? Magician. Queen of Swords energy. And the Strength card. There is some courage being awoken in them, but this Queen of Swords energy is still that it, it, it's like a step down from the king. It's, it's still very patient energy. So I don't feel that they're contacting you in the next two weeks, but the magician says that some sort of manifestation is taking place. And we see two figure eights, two attorney symbols here over the magician and the strength card. So this is your energy and this is their energy. Who is this magician? Let's clarify, let's clarify the magician. For them, yearning. For you, reverence. More lions, four lions. So they're yearning for their lion. It's almost like See two eternity symbols. It's almost like a soul recognition is taking place. It's like they have this yearning for you. They feel this reverence for you and, and they've been manifesting you. Or they're about to start manifesting you while keeping their cool, keeping their patience. So I don't feel that they're contacting you in the next two weeks. Not yet. But on their side, 
there's a lot moving that wheel of fortune. There's something starting to, to move in your direction. In the extended, we'll look into what's the biggest obstacle that came between you and your love interest in the past. What will happen if you reach out to the love interest in the next two weeks? How can you prepare for the arrival of the love interest? And we'll ask, how will this love interest affect your life? The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank you.